Pokemon Go is dead! Okay, so I'm in the car on the way to Terre Haute to surprise my friend for his birthday. We're gonna see what kind of Pokemon we can't grab out here. So, heck yeah, rural Indiana, let's go. I made it, I'm here at the Fox Hole, the coolest venue in Terre Haute. It's my buddy Silas's birthday, so hopefully things are gonna turn out great. Oh my god, gamers, it's Brent aboard. What's up, gamers? We got we got a real life gamer here. So, as expected, there are literally no Pokemon out here at all. I've been walking in circles, but no <laughs> dice. Here he is, the gamer himself, Silas. Happy birthday, my is this, guy. Is this going on the internet? Yeah, it is. <laughs> All the cool kids are playing Pokemon, so go out to your local Poke store and buy your Pokeballs. Pokemon Go? How about Pokemon Bro? This is my best bud, CS for Cadaver. Uh, we toured together. Super, super, super great gamer. Uh, we play Elder Scrolls Online together, so I'll be streaming that and I'll be posting some videos from that soon. This party is pretty insane. So, everybody gets stoked. And we're gonna watch CS for Cadaver play some Skyrim music, yay! So, the total lack of Pokemon in Terre Haute, Indiana has just been very disappointing. Uh, we passed that park that had Dragonair in it, but we were driving quickly to my friend's party to try to make everything work out great. I am just wish I'd have gotten that Dragonair. Uh, we're still on the we're still on the 2K event. I'm probably gonna throw an incense down just to collect that Stardust. But yeah, uh, we're gonna finish off this show and see for Cadaver's gonna play. So let's listen. After a full day of catching pretty much nothing, I am very much regretting not going back and catching that dragon air right now. Since there's no Pokemon, how about we go for some fun Terra Haute facts?
One cool Terre Haute legend is the story of Stiffy Green, a bulldog who was super distraught upon his owner's death in 1921 and would guard his grave and mausoleum and bark at those he deemed a threat. The story goes that upon the dog's death, he was right at the gravesite and was stuffed and put there to watch over his owner in death until some friggin' Terre Haute hoodlums shot his frickin' eye out with a gun. Poor Stiffy.